Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Honey Soul Child Bottega channel. I am your chakra priestess here to do another energy report, weekly energy report. So without further ado, before we get into it, please keep in mind that all readings on my channel are for entertainment purposes only. Due to everything is not set in stone because of free will. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Okay. Also, there will be a workshop that I am hosting this Sunday on the 5th, um, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time about uh, self-love. So be sure to look out for the promotion for that so you can go ahead and register and tune into the workshop. So let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> what will be the energy for this week? I'm using two, well, yeah, two decks because the month is going to start, a new month is going to start in the middle of the week again. Look at that. So what are the energies looking like for this week? <laughs> Okay. Oh, all right. We have Phoenix rising. I love it. I love to see it already. Phoenix rising. So there are going to be some changes. Um, may, maybe some uh, some sudden changes. Uh, due to the number thirty two here, there's going to be some sudden changes to where or some sudden upheaval to where it is going to activate your phoenix rising, okay? Um, let's see, at the bottom of the deck, we have inner child. Inner child, this is the bottom of the deck, inner child. Hold on, let me, let me get a good focus, let me get a focus. Inner child, oh, the, the lighting is, the cards are too, there we go. The cards are too shiny, inner child. Okay, <clears throat> with the energy of the seven, and we are in the year of seven. All right, so let me get a card from the other deck as well. What will the energies be looking like at the start of the month? We have flame tree. This is the first time I've ever seen this card. Flame Tree is a card that came out saying the start of something new. Okay, come on now. The start is going to be the start of something new as you begin to rise like the phoenix that you are um, as changes are coming through the pipeline. All right. <clears throat> At the bottom of the deck for the other card, we have intuitive communication, silent whispers of the heart, which is another seven energy. Do y'all see that 43 at the top? Hold on, hold on, let me focus. Oh, there it is. There's the 43 right here. Let me focus a little bit more. Oop, there it is. All right. The number 47. Three, so we got, okay, so we got two sevens at the bottom of the deck, seven, seven. So feel free to look that up during your spare time. But um, yes, that is what I'm getting from these two cards already. Expect some uh, the start of something new because we are going to the beginning of the month of March, as well as the start of something new, which is the spring equinox which is technically the start of the year because when spring comes, rebirth happens, right? Okay, and when you're doing so, you are going to rise like the phoenix that you are. Now, let me go ahead and get us some clarity within this guidebook. Let's, let's see what they're talking about in these guidebooks. <laughs> It says, everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that is not worked in your life. Spring cleaning. Hello. 
the reason for many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. You may feel that you are walking through the fires of life. Hello, flame, fire of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon, you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you. It's time. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you imagine. So let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. The action for the Phoenix Rising card is write down what you are afraid of let, uh, to let go of. Number your fears from the worst thing that could happen to the smaller fears. Then write down what could be a possible gift of facing that fear. Place your hands on the part of your body where you feel the most fear. Say to yourself or aloud, I am willing to let go of this fear. Imagine being able to take this sensation of fear out of your body into the palm of your hands. Envisage or envisage that fear becomes a bird. Um, I'm just going to say envision. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be an envision, but hello. Envision that fear becomes a bird. Surrender the bird to a higher source and visualize it flying away. Repeat the word surrender several times, okay? So that is what's going on with that Phoenix Rising card <laughs> because it could um, heal your inner child, okay? It could be dealing with the inner child that needs healing work so you can be able to rise and start something new because of the fears of what had uh what a uh, traumatic experience you had in your childhood that could pay, play an effect to how you move forward in day-to-day -day life that could be a portion that needs healing in order for you to continue to be your best self as well as um continue to finish what you started okay or continue on what you have started so you can be able to finish and move on to the next goal all right so for the other card flame tree with the number 30 so could be some collaboration along the way or some teamwork along the way as you start something new a creative spark is ignited from deep within your soul. This will soon develop into a passionate flame through which a new idea will come to you. This card heralds the start of something new. This could be a new era, a study, a new business, a new interest of some kind. Whatever it is, it will develop progressively and steadily. And it just keeps on growing. It will develop into a deep passion and remain a significant part of your life for years to come. You will thank your lucky stars for discovering something that you truly love to be, uh, be and do. For the time being, all you need to do is relax. Simply keep an open mind and open your heart over the next few weeks and pay attention to your intuition. Your affirmation for this card would be a creative flame grows within my heart and eliminates my mind. I am ready to start something new. My heart and my mind are open to new possibilities. My dream becomes my reality. I do what I love and love what I do, okay? Because as I'm seeing in this image right here, I see two trees. So it could be a collaboration with you know you and another person or you and your higher self as well as the raindrops from look like an orange but i do see raindrops and then also the flames that is coming from uh from the ground as well so maybe do like a fire ritual and you know, burn whatever fears that is holding you back or you could just envision the fire look at a light a candle look at it do some um manifestation through that as well okay that 
what do what uh fires your spark okay and that's giving like solar plexus energy too um so that could be one of the things that that could be the chakra focus that could um that we need to work on uh, or if this resonates with you that could be the chakra that is needed to be worked on and uh activated or to be balanced so you can be able to again finish what you started so i'm going to say the chakra focus for this energy report that the cards have came out today is the solar plexus chakra okay so with that being said that is the ending of the reading, uh, feel free to leave your comments down below on how this resonates with you. Do some spring cleaning, y'all. Spring clean around the house, your energy, all that other good stuff, okay? Um, the That is a ritual, whether y'all want to admit it or not, but uh, hey, that's beyond me. <laughs> But um, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you know the next time I upload a video. And don't forget to look out for my workshop link so y'all can be registered for that and get some, um, get some self-love activation going on or some continuation. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And always remember to love thyself, know thyself, sue thyself so you can heal thyself. See ya.